Hi everyone, welcome to number five, Second Avenue in Aspendale. As you all know, um, unfortunately due to the coronavirus, our open homes and auctions are going to have to be cancelled. So what better way to show you the property than to take you on a tour? Follow me. Walking into this lovely um, home, as you come through the front door, you will see that all the way through to the back, you've got direct ac uh, access. So the flow of air and just the flow in general goes all the way through to the back of the home. It is a four bedroom home. The first bedroom here is at the front. Come on in here, Sonia, and have a look. So a beautiful bay window, um, which uh, the people that have come through so far have loved the bay window. Sit out there, read a book. Um, and lovely high ceilings as well. I do believe that um, these are slightly higher than normal. Um, I'll also show you inside of all of our cupboards so that you can get a good feel for how much space is actually in this home. So a decent sized wardrobe um, for a person here living in the front room. Um, plenty of hanging space and shelf space. Close those up. Okay back out you'll notice that all the way through the home as well we do have beautiful engineered timber flooring um, so very gorgeous and it's all the way through the house second bedroom here come on in so obviously plenty of room for a double or queen size in this room and um, this one also does have um, cupboards in behind the door here so again same as the first bedroom Plenty of um, hanging space and also space up there in the top of the cord or in the wardrobe for folding and drawers or whatever you want to put in there. Okay. Now back into the hallway. So all your bedrooms do run off the hallway. Um, this is central, central, I guess, passageway all the way through to the, the home. Um, and off to the right here, we have our, oh, let me turn the light on. We have our garage. It is a double size garage. Um, at the moment, we've got lots of things stored in here. But double size garage, you can fit two cars in here. And at the back here, plenty of rooms to put some um, shelves up on the walls. Um, so plenty of storage room in here. Uh, the door on the far right hand side also goes through into the backyard. So you've got access into the house and also into the backyard. From, um, from the garage. Uh, the door is uh, remote, so no getting wet when you're coming home on those cold and wet days. Okay. Okay, we'll just shut this door. Whoa. And don't worry everybody, I will be sanitizing all the door handles and light switches when I'm finished. Okay. In a bit further into the home, off to the left here, we have our first of um, two bathrooms. So this is the family bathroom. Um, it does have a spa bath in it. It's a very lovely, neat and tidy. Um, and uh, the owners of this home are very meticulous with their cleaning. So very clean as well. Um, this home was bought, uh, built about 11 years ago. So everything is still as it is, like, like it was when it was new. And then as you come out of the bathroom, so you can do a spin in there, there's not enough room for two of us, um, but you have the laundry. Um, laundry has access out onto the back backyard and you also have plenty of storage there in the linen cupboard. Um, I think it'd be a great little area too if you wanted to, to you know, put in a bench across here, put in a bench and put your... Um, your dryer and your washer underneath your bench create a bit more space maybe some more cabinets up on the wall if you wanted to um your toilet standard toilet not much different there okay on the right we have how many bedrooms have we seen three so this is our third bedroom our master bedroom beautiful space in here um we do have ceiling fan gorgeous big ceiling fan in there that'll keep you cool in summer um and um, we also have ducted heating throughout the whole property, so um, that'll keep you warm during winter, which is most important, of course. Um, 
in behind the door here, walking robe. Again, plenty of hanging space in there. So um, there are more shelves um, in behind there. So if you want to take a look in there, Sonia. So plenty of um, space in the wardrobe. Obviously a lot of clothes in there at the moment, but plenty of room in there. And the second bathroom, uh, which is your ensuite for the master suite. Take a look in there, double vanity, oversized shower, and again, very clean, modern and tidy. And your own toilet, very important. So all in all, a beautiful master suite, lots of room, uh, lots of space for storage, uh, your own bathroom, everything you need really. Back out into the hall and we have our fourth bedroom, which at the moment this one is styled um, as an office, but um, is basically the same as the other two bedrooms on this side. So. You've got the double doors on this one, so um, yeah, you can use it as an office if you only need three bedrooms, um, or your fourth bedroom. Uh, all the dimensions for all of these rooms are on our website and on realestate.com and domain, so you can um, get all the dimensions for the rooms off the floor plan. big open plan area here which incorporates our kitchen dining and the first of two living areas um, we've got the galley style kitchen sink in the island bench you've also got these um, power points on the end of your island bench which is a fantastic feature if you're cooking and you know you can do it on your island you don't have to do it anywhere else um, a lovely five bedroom oh, sorry five bedroom five burner um, gas stove and in here, we've got the wall oven, room for your microwave, also a dishwasher in behind you there, Sonia. And, oh, sorry, that was the bin, not the bench. <laughs> and a big um, double door pantry. So lots of room in there. I love the fact that it's actually not deep. It's a shallow one so that you can actually see all of the things that you've got in there. You're not hunting all the way back to your pantry, uh, to the back of the pantry trying to find things. So plenty of room in there, as along with all the other cupboards. Um, you've got the under bench cupboards and also the, the um, wall cabinets next to the, next to the stove as well. Now, this is one of the most beautiful features um, in the whole house. Before I get to that though, I must, must mention you've got a nine, I think it's 9.4 kilowatt um, air conditioning, reverse cycle air conditioning unit up there, which does the whole of this living area. Um, the owners have been here 11 years and um, they said it basically cools down everything. So um, no need for any other additional cooling. So as I was saying, back to the main feature of the house. This is the feature I love about this home. These big glass, sliding doors, bifold doors, open all the way up to this amazing deck area. So when it is warm in summer, you can have this all open, sit out here for your alfresco dining. Um, it's also big enough to put a huge long table inside into your living area if you've got a big family and having Christmas celebrations or whatever, plenty of room in here. So coming out onto the deck, lovely huge deck and you'll also see that um, there are gliding, glass sliding doors that go onto the second living area. We'll go back in through that way on our way back in. But um, our big deck area out here, amazing deck. You've got ceiling fans again, keep you nice and cool in summer. Down the side of the home here is where your washing line is and that's the door that goes into the garage. Um, now, one objection we have had from families in particular is that there's not enough backyard. That's easy. We've got actually um, a solution for that. So as you can see, as I was saying, the deck is really quite large. Um, if you look down on the floor here, you'll see that the deck
decking actually finishes in one of the boards finishes in line with the house. So if you needed to, you could actually remove these nine palings here, which will give you more yard. If you really wanted to as well, we've got the garden over here that you could remove give you more yard. Um, I personally like the bamboo screening but if that's not for you you could remove that back garden there give you a bit more yard and also the garden shed down in the corner we would um, possibly be able to remove that as well which will give you all that more um, yard for the kids or the dogs. So plenty of possibilities even if you look at it now and go oh I don't know if that is big enough there's plenty of possibilities to make that bigger. And down the side here, down the other side of the home, you've got 5,000 litre rainwater tanks. So plenty of room down the side there as well to um, do whatever you like. You can pop, maybe pop, pop a um, slimline garden shed down the side somewhere um, if you wanted that extra storage. But don't forget that we um, do have room to put additional storage in the, in the double garage as well. So coming back inside, um, we also, one feature that you won't see from the home is that it does have solar powered um, hot water system and um, the rainwater tanks also flush into the toilets so they use the rainwater for toilet flushing which, um, you know, two very great energy efficient um, features there. Into the home again. Through to our second living area. Again, ceiling fans and the heating does come all the way through the house so ducted heating as I said before all the way through the house um, second living room great if you've got a, a young family you can see all the way through to the kitchen from this living area so mum might be in the kitchen or dad for that matter might be in the kitchen making dinner and you can see the kids playing out here you can also see the kids uh, playing out in the backyard through the windows and the, both the great um, double doors there So this is um, a lovely home, it's in a fantastic position, down the road um, at the end of the street you've got a cross over the railway stations that will take you straight, uh, the railway tracks rather, it will take you straight to the beach. So fantastic location, fantastic street, Everyone, everyone's really friendly. Um, and all in all it's just a fantastic home. So we are still doing private inspections. If you do want to inspect this property, please give me a call 0417 776 736 and I'd be happy to show you through. Thanks everyone.